Adam. Welcome to week three, episode two. All right, so yesterday we got to look at artwork by Henri Matisse, a French fauvist artist. And today we're gonna to look at another French artist named Emily Charmy. And Emily Charmy was born April 2nd, 1878 in Saint-Étienne, France. So I wanted to talk about Emily Charmy today because she was friends with Matisse. They were both fauvist friends. But does anybody remember what a fauvist is? Hmm. Right, fauvists were artists that used paint and color in an intense way, and they put it where it didn't belong. So kind of like a green sky or red grass. That didn't make sense, but it was okay if you were a fauvist. Another fun fact about Emily Charmy was that she was an artist working and creating artwork in a world when there was mostly men artists. So that made her super special and super rare, just like the artist we learned about a couple weeks ago named Beth Marceau. All right, in just a moment, I'm gonna switch the screen and then we're gonna get to see some work by Emily Charmy. Don't forget during this time, if you have someone close by you wanna share your thoughts with about the artwork, go ahead and pause the video and we can practice our table talk because don't forget, we wanna pretend like we're in the classroom. Here we go. Here we have a self-portrait of Emily Charmy. Here's a still life before Emily was doing fauvism. Young woman with bird. Let's zoom in closer and see the colors that she added. Purple, she added purple color to her bird. Still life with pumpkins. If we zoom in closer, we can see all the fauvist colors that she added. She almost used every color. All right, we got to see some of Emily Charmy's artwork. We got to see a portrait. We got to see a self-portrait. We got to see a still life and another still life. And the best part is we got to see how she used that fauvist style in her artwork. We got to see those bright colors that she used in her still life in the fruit, and then how she used that purple paint to create contrast in her portrait. All right, this brings us to the end of our video. I'll be back tomorrow with another fullest artist. Until then, have a great day, Sutton. Bye.